Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. For the past two and a half years, I've been sharing my knowledge about the stock market and my vision into the future as to how you can invest in other people's businesses uh, to make yourself wealthy, okay? Um, what I want to do today is turn the tables a bit, and what I want to do is to tell you how you can take advantage of the Digital Revolution 3.0 to make yourself wealthy. Not to invest in other people, but to invest in yourself. Now, the first thing we have to do before we travel this journey together is to get rid of that unwanted roommate in your head that tells you, I can't do that. I can't be another Mark Zuckerberg. I can't be another Larry Page or Serge Bream. I'm not capable of that. I cannot go out into Seattle and in a garage build Amazon.com, but you can. And what I'm going to do today in this video is show you exactly how you can do it because I'm going to sit down with Taylor Swift and I'm going to explain to Taylor how she can create an additional $1.1 billion business in her company that will grow substantially year after year by just implementing Digital Revolution 3.0. I'll be sitting down with Taylor, so be respectful and uh, let me share with you how you can become a billionaire. But again, while I'm gone here, get rid of that unwanted roommate in your head that's going to tell you, I can't do that. Be right back. This is not financial advice. This is the best financial education you're ever going to receive. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, welcome Taylor here. She's uh, agreed to uh, join me as I explain to her how she can increase her income and her business by, by magnitudes just by taking advantage of what's already available and what she's already built. Let's talk to Taylor about what she's built. The first thing is on uh, Instagram, Taylor has 183 million followers. She's been very, very successful. Here is what I propose that Taylor do. She goes on to her Instagram and she makes it uh, known that she is uh, producing a new album, but she's having difficulty with the lyrics to one particular song. And what she would like is her fans, her 183 million people, to help her out. And what she's going to do is she's going to put a link in her Instagram to where they can click on that link, and then she will send them a handwritten copy of the lyrics that she is writing for a song, and then share with them where she's having the trouble and gathering their suggestions as to what she could do to make this song better. She will then have gathered what I'm going to guess is 10% of her audience, or rather 18.3 million uh, suggestions on that song. She's going to use artificial intelligence to go through those 18.3 million suggestions and come up with the best 10. She's then going to put some people on the phone to call those people and interview them and bring it down to the best three. She's going to invite those best three to Nashville for a weekend to work with her to hone in on the proper lyrics for the song. She's going to take them to her school that she has in the uh, Country Western Hall of Fame there in Nashville. And then she's going to take them down to the Bluebird Cafe on Saturday night and they're going to audition or they're going to present their new song. That's what Taylor's going to do. She is then going to invite all the 18.3 million people who came and suggest, made suggestions to her songs to join her on her Discord. 
And she is going to share the experience of those three young people, probably with their parents, that they had in that experience. And then she's going to invite them to become a member of her Best of Taylor fan club. And that is going to be the beginning of her new venture. She is going to basically say, if you'd like to be part of the Best of Us Taylor Swift, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 a month. I believe she'll get 18.3 million people. That will turn into $91 million per month. That will turn into $1.1 billion per year. Now, Taylor's going to need some help doing this because this is available to her but her staff has never recognized it. The fact is, she's been selling tickets all around the world through promoters, and her staff have never insisted to the promoters that when you buy a ticket, that you share that the, the promoter gives us, Taylor Swift, the, the data on the ticket buyers, thus increasing the amount of people that Taylor can now market directly to, to bring to her Discord, her best of Taylor Swift Discord, where she can continue to grow that $1.1 billion. Now, that will be a result in roughly $1.1 billion a year. To give you some idea what that represents. Google's annual revenues are $161 billion a year. They're a $1.5 trillion company. So if Taylor and Swift hires Carrie to help her do this, you will do that, won't you, Taylor? Uh, Carrie is now part of a company in partnership with Taylor that can grow substantially. Can, if Carrie can get, what, 160 other companies, other people like Cristiano Ronaldo, who has 440 million followers, Taylor has 183 million, or LeBron James, who has 48.4 million followers, if Kerry can find 161 of those kind of people, Kerry can build a company the size of Google. If he's not quite so successful, he could build one the size of Facebook, which has, which generates $118 billion of business and is a $518 billion business. So what I'm saying to you is I want you to see the possibilities. I want you to say, oh my goodness, I had no idea. You understand, you need to understand, this is not what Jeff Bezos had to do. It, 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 the, the, the infrastructure is already built. All I have to do now is identify the software company that can help me make this happen. That may be, uh, I, as an example, I went and looked at Palantirs and I came to understand what they do as in managing data. I also know that there are other companies such as HubSpot, Microsoft, SAP, Oracle, Soft, Salesforce, who also can do lead management because that's what this is. Taylor's going to get 18 million submissions. Somebody has to manage that using artificial intelligence to then hone in in the marketing capability of what I just described to you. This is where the world is going. This is where the Digital Revolution 3.0 is going. Everything is in place. All it needs is your idea. I just gave you my idea. I need help 
in making this happen. First of all, I need to get a call from Taylor Swift or LeBron James or Raphael or you that says, hey, I know the piece that you're missing. I can help you get that done. That's my challenge to you. That's my challenge to you. If you want it, all you have to do at this point is bend down and pick it up because it's there. It's all been put in place. All the infrastructure is there. You just have to have the idea. You've now heard my idea. I hope you say, I hope you're saying, I got to get a hold of him because I have an access to Taylor Swift or I have an access to Garth Brooks or I have an access to Dale Earnhardt Jr. That's what we need. That's what has to happen. That's how Mark took his dating site on uh, the Harvard campus campus and turned it into a $118 billion company. That's what happened. Other people came in and said, Mark, I like your idea. Have you ever thought about this? Or let me put you in touch with, and that's how it grew. This is the birth of our new business. Now, I'm going to take this, what I have figured out, and apply it to my tiny little business, 160,000 fans, and multiply it into my business. But what I know for a fact is what I've learned in building my business is applicable on much greater scale. But I need your help. And that's the challenge I've put in front of you. Now, right now, that roommate is saying, that can't happen. I can't be a part of that. Get rid of that roommate in your head because they are what's keeping you from becoming a billionaire. Taylor, thank you for joining us and uh, I hope to be speaking to you again soon. Music